still be doing anything with the I3s? I well, think. actually, we're supposed to be starting our very first album next week. So we are working on it. So when I get back into Kingston, that's exactly what I'm going to do, straight into the studio to work on this album. Where will you be recording this? Well, we intend to record it at Tough Gong Studios. We might do some of the work at probably Compass Point Studio, you know, to change the mood, but most of it will be done at Tough Gong. Who will you be using as players? Will it be the Whalers? Or? Well, various musicians, like Fabulous Five, and um, the Whalers, probably, and um, One Vibe Band. That's a band that backed me while I was on stage doing my solo performance. Would there be any Sly and Robbie action in there, too? <laughs> We'd love to get some of that, <laughs> too. Yeah, they're great. They put on a fabulous mm -hmm. show this afternoon. It was a little bit later than we all anticipated seeing the show go. It was terrific. We never get a chance to see them at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was burnt out. <laughs> is, that, is that part for the course for Sunsplash, that the hours of like that or was this an unusual event? This one is really an unusual one, you know, because they usually finish at probably 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning. It's the very first time they've ever gone so far into the afternoon. Would the tour that you're talking about with Sunsplash, the world tour, would that take away the annual event here in Jamaica or would it be in addition to? It would take away. It wouldn't really take away because they plan to have um, some splash here also, oh. but they're taking the best of Oh, the best. Oh, that's what I heard. Oh. The best of some splash. Okay, right. Maybe you can answer the question again. Okay, well, again, <laughs> will, will it, uh, you know, how will it differ from Sun Splash in Jamaica, the tour, and that type of thing? Well, as Norman just said, <laughs> <laughs> that it wouldn't take away because Sun Splash will be going on in Jamaica. Oh. But most of the, the best performers, they will be taking on the road. Which is, what would think that would be more just the Jamaican bands themselves? But, uh, I mean, do you think they would include an Ethiopian band or a German band, or is this taking Jamaica out to the world? Is that the idea? Well, they would take probably an Ethiopian band. They would. Very important now, I guess. Have you been to Africa? Well, I've been twice to Africa. The very first time I went to Gabon, which is Central Africa, with Bob Marley. And the second time was the Zimbabwe Independence with Bob. Do you plan to do some dates of your own? Well, I'd love to. I have no plans yet. But Africa is a virgin market right now. And I'm focusing all my attention into directing my records there. And then maybe I'll get a chance to go down there and do some performances too in the near future. That would be exciting. Um, have you had a chance to read Catch a Fire yet? To do what? To read Catch a Fire? No, not as yet. I have it in my possession, but you know, I just leap through it, look at the pictures, read the pictures. <laughs> some good pictures in there. Yeah. I've never before seen the shots that I guess Mrs. Booker had. Mm -hmm. We understood that she was a little upset with the book. Have you heard anything? Or? No, no, I haven't heard anything about her being upset on the book. I was meant to talk to her before we came down. We just got so, such a hurry to get there. The uh, other thing that we were talking to Tony about, and we were doing a sort of a supplemental thing on concert promotion and concerts in general in the Caribbean, uh, what are your feelings on island concerts versus those in the States? Is, is it something that's coming around to where they, they can predict certain tours and things like that? You mean with Synergy Production? Well, with Gen all the Caribbean Gen concerts, like we just went to Trinidad with a rock and roll band, and I know reggae is not only here on the island of Jamaica, but other Caribbean islands. Mm -hmm. Is are, are big concerts such as Sunsplash going to be a way to lure tourists back to various islands? I mean, do you see it as possible? Well, I course? think probably Senator will take it to the islands too, because I know the island people are waiting for us there. You know, I don't know anything about the plans, but I know definitely they'll take it around the islands too.
vibration that we've just gone through with Sun Splash? It was just great. <laughs> yes, that's the word, great. You know, because I've never seen anything like this before. It's one of the biggest so far. So all I can say, it was just great, marvelous. If word really gets out, and I mean, assuming that all the people from the U.S. expressed the good times they had, where can the concert go? I mean, will it, where, where's the next step for Sunsplash? I mean, it's almost too big for this almost big 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 place. It's almost too big now. Where, where, do you, where do you see it going? I mean, it could really get out of hand. You don't, you don't know. <laughs> all over the world. Thank you too. What's your name? I'm John. Oh, you're John. Yeah, John Robinson. Corey. I'm Corey, I'm sorry. Oh. Robinson.